Right, so you know those mistakes you make over and over and over again and just won't seem to learn from? Well, Bauhinia is not one of those mistakes. I planted three different Bauhinias, Bauhinia peterziana, Bauhinia ex Blakeyana, and a fair few Bauhinia uh, variegata this year. And as far as I can tell, I've only actually lost one variegata. The rest are all putting out new leaves, even though they mostly look like complete sticks during the dry season. So this is going to be a Sclera carrier berea. So this is Marula. Marula is in the Anacardiaceae, which is generally speaking a family that I get on quite well with. This is the family that you have mangoes, you have the wild plum, you have the, the Brazilian pepper tree. You do have the cashews, which ha have not always been reliable, but the, the Marulas in particular, I planted five the rainy season before last, and of those, one of them seems to have been trampled. The other four, having turned to complete sticks each dry season, are now more than double the size they are when they went in, having done very little growth last year, basically since that little bit of rain we had earlier this year they've really shot up and they're looking really good so I do think it's good to add more these are like a few of the Anacardiaceae male and female on separate trees so you do need multiples in order to get fruit which which I would like because it's a very good fruit it's one of the best local fruits it's also once established one of the most drought tolerant native trees I am going to be putting an extra piece of Dracaena fragrance in here just to mark it out a bit more because although the original one is still alive the grass is growing this is a fairly small tree and I just want to make sure it is well marked here so it doesn't suffer the one thing that I know can kill these which is trampling then I'm going to be repeating a mistake that I make a lot which is planting the tree tomato so I have tried a lot of different locations for this. The one I have planted this year so far is the healthiest I have ever planted. And I'm going to be trying to sort of mimic that a little bit by focusing on keeping it out of the wind rather than keeping it out of the sun, um, and rather than giving it a lot of ground cover. And actually, I think with a lot of Solanums, sometimes, although humidity can be a good way of keeping some of the mites down, it can also be a really great way of encouraging a lot of the scales and aphids. So I'm hoping having a relatively open ground area here will be quite good for it, because this is an wind sheltered and relatively sun sheltered not intensely sun sheltered spot uh, where it's going to be with a few carpenterias and a Peruvian apple and also a custard apple uh, and this should hopefully mean that it is going to be more open around the base because none of these are going to be dense low growing I've put mostly bulbs in as the companion plants here a few of those have been eaten by mole rats but generally speaking they've done all right um, and I'm going to be putting in Siphona chylus and one of the spiral native spiral gen you hear that um, and I'm going to be putting in with the first, I'm going to be putting in one of the native uh, Costaceae, so the, the spiral gingers. I have it in my head as Costa Safer, but I have Costa Safer and this is not that. Um, it was given to me by a friend, so I'll put the proper name up on screen. And then with the second one, I'm going to be putting in a piece of the Siphonochylus kirky, which I put in recently, which is a native true ginger. When I say true ginger, it's not an edible ginger as far as I know. It has that wonderful smell, but it is not food. So that should be everything for tonight. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed it. If you haven't enjoyed it, thank you for watching anyway. Please tune in again tomorrow because I will be hopefully be planting something else, even though this is a two-day one. I'm hoping I will have a little bit more sort of scheduling in the future days, but we'll see.